Folk football back again with your belated, very late Scottish Cup semi-final. By a play, whatever you want to call it, the League Cup. Doesn't really matter. I, I kind of preferred that it was called the Premier Sports Cup, but we're here a wee bit late. And Rangers defeated Aberdeen 2-1. I've already reviewed this game, Folk football here. Son of Scotland 90 said, this is a very interesting match. But you know what? I feel like there wasn't many wrong decisions in this game. Like, I know there's going to be Celtic fans greeting, digging up decisions that Rangers got five fucking years ago just to try and attempt to fucking prove a point because they're sad. You know, oh, the VAR conveniently stopped working in the 99th minute when Rangers were 2-1 up. Really? I don't know, man. I think they're clutching at straws. Very seriously clutching at straws. But in terms of the game, it's probably the best Rangers have started a game of football in a long time, but, you know, Sakala hitting the post with his diving header, Morelos having a header cleared off the line, uh, a shot dragged wide, Aberdeen then score an offside goal, and the alarm bells were ringing as soon as that happened, because you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, come on, Rangers, sort it out, and then we literally get a carbon copy of that, guys, we literally get Mifinski, Mielfiski, Mielfiski, whatever you pronounce that, man, um, he is offside, Barisic stops because he's offside and then and then just lets Matty Candy run right with him. Now, I mean, yeah, you could argue, oh, but he's interfering with play because, but no, I'm not, I don't want to argue that, right? Because that's a very piss argument. Um, piss poor for Barisic letting Matty Candy just completely run down that right hand side. It's whipped then across. It's good night, Irene, because Mifinski has put it into the back of the net and Al McGregor then. A good job here of not making any saves. To be fair, like I did say on my channel, he didn't make any saves. He made a few decent saves, right? But I think when I said that on my channel, I was more referring to like the past couple of months where it, 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 he's literally made no saves. And I believe actually CJ Novo said in his vid that McGregor has got the fourth worst save ratio in the Premiership this season. That tells me everything I need to know. But yeah, we go into half-time Rangers, kind of on the map. It's a wee bit dead. It's a wee bit depressing. We're like, who is going to save us now? Who is it going to be? Enter Ryan Jack. He blazes one over, but then he puts the second one in. Morelos finds him, grabs an assist with Alfie, and then it's a deflected shot that trickles into the back of that. Rangers then, after this... Like, we had, did have our chances. Like, Ryan Kent had that epic shot that just, like, went whiskers wide with so much swerve and curl on it. It was fucking epic, man. I love I love shots like that. Because the goalie's nae chance, like, his nae chance of that was in the corner. Um, and then we do get the, the red card incident where Sakala nutmegs Anthony Stewart. But, like, Sakala's just really not... He's probably going to get past Stewart, but then again, if Stewart just holds off him, he's not. The fact that Stewart commits himself is what get happens here. And you know what? If this doesn't happen, I mean, I mean, Rangers could obviously still win. Rangers are the much better side. But, you know, this guy's essentially fucked Aberdeen's chances because against 11 men of Rangers going into extra time, it was always going to be a struggle for Aberdeen. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a red. You cannot dispute this being a red. We go into the second half. Scott, well, the, the, set, the first half of uh, extra time. Scott, right, brilliant work doing that left-hand side. Finds Kamar Roof, lovely finish. Sadly, straight after this, Kamar Roof breaks his arm. Um, really bad fall. Scott Wright, though, really good game. Aberdeen literally have all like, the chances at the end of this game. They really did. Could have scored. McGregor performing some good saves. The post getting hit. I think that was offside, that instance. Like, but, I mean, the post still get hit. But Rangers, see it out. Despite the fact, like, I mean, we were hanging on against a 10-man Aberdeen. Like, I don't think that's a very good sign, but Rangers move on, and that's about it, guys. But anyway, I want you to leave your thoughts down below, and until next time, that's it for Fog Fitba, and until then, peace.